Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something super exciting to share with you. I managed to score a fantastic deal on a round trip business class with TAP Air Portugal. In total, it only cost 5,400 Japanese yen. I'll reveal exactly how I booked this at the end of the video, so stay tuned. My round trip flights also came with different aircrafts with different cabin configurations. One of them was equipped with the famous throne seats and I was fortunate to snap one. I will also share with you how you can secure the throne seat. For now, let's dive into the journey. Our journey commenced at San Francisco International Airport SFO, where we had access to the Polaris Lounge thanks to our TAP Business Class tickets. For most of the airlines departing from Gate G at SFO, they are part of the Star Alliance. Their business class passengers can enjoy the Polaris Lounge. The buffet at the lounge was decent, although it lacked some variety. Opting for a more formal dining experience, we headed to the dining room. Our entrees included chicken and rock cod, but unfortunately they were only so-so. However, the dessert stole the show. Both the cinnamon pot and ice cream were delightful. Boarding the sleek Airbus A33-900neo, we settled into the business class cabin. TAP Air Portugal has incorporated this wide-body aircraft into its long-haul fleet. The business class configuration features a compact staggered layout with 34 seats arranged in a 1-2-1 arrangement, ensuring direct aisle access for each passenger. While TAP has made significant improvements to its business class product over the years, I found the A330-900neo seats to be somewhat tight. The true window seats offer more privacy and are farther from the aisles, although the overall space may feel slightly constrained compared to other airlines with similar products. Our flight departed at around 5 p.m., so we got to enjoy this beautiful sunset while waiting for taking off. During the long journey, the in-flight entertainment system kept us engaged with a wide variety of movies, TV shows, and music. The food and beverage selection was commendable, catering to different tastes and dietary preferences. Overall, our business class flight experience set the tone for an exciting adventure in Lisbon, Portugal. Our return flight wasn't to San Francisco, but to Toronto. We had a two-night stay at the new Park Hyatt Toronto, and I'll tell you why later in the video. At the airport, we made use of the TAP Premium Lounge and savored some delicious snacks. Our flight was on an Airbus A321neo, a single aisle aircraft designed for shorter and medium haul journeys. Although smaller than the A330, the A321neo still provided a comfortable experience, especially with TAP's signature business class seats. 
we were fortunate to secure the throne seats by selecting them early. These spacious thrones made the journey feel regal, allowing us to stretch out, work comfortably, and even catch some rest. For entertainment, the A321 Neo offered a wide range of choices, from recent blockbusters to classic films. And when it came to dining, TAP's culinary team impressed us with a menu that blended Portuguese flavors with international flair. The combination of throne seats, delightful dining, and thoughtful amenities turned an ordinary flight into a memorable experience. Let's delve into how I secured this remarkable flight. I utilized 88,000 ANA points and a mere 5,400 Japanese yen, which turned out to be an incredible deal. In fact, this might just be the most affordable long-haul round-trip business class option available using points. Now if you were to book the same flight through other Star Alliance partners like Air Canada or United, the redemption points would be significantly higher. However, there's a catch. When booking with ANA, you must commit to the full round trip. In terms of the award availability of the business class seats, TAP Air Portugal releases award tickets approximately one year in advance. For travelers on the East Coast, there's generally ample availability. However, for those on the West Coast, currently limited to San Francisco, it's a bit more elusive and predictability isn't guaranteed. Sometimes, TAP simply doesn't release any tickets for specific dates. Let me illustrate with a personal example. While planning my Thanksgiving travel, I noticed availability for a San Francisco to Lisbon flight on November 9th, a Thursday, just over a week before Thanksgiving. Inspired by this opportunity, I decided to work remotely in Lisbon for a week and then take the entire Thanksgiving week off. However, my return flight from Lisbon to San Francisco on the 26th was nowhere to be found. So I explored alternative options, considering stopovers in cities like New York, Toronto, and Boston. Ultimately, we settled on Toronto, enticed by the prospect of experiencing winter there and indulging in some delectable Chinese cuisine. Our chosen return date? A Friday. This scenario exemplifies how flexibility is key when leveraging hard-earned credit points to enjoy business class comfort. Lastly, I want to talk about the throne seats. Isn't it an amazing experience to enjoy such a spacious seat? TAP Air Portugal currently serves six cities in the United States and two cities in Canada. For extended flights lasting over nine hours, TAP deploys the Airbus A330, a larger aircraft with compact staggered seats. However, the coveted throne seats are exclusively available on flights from Lisbon to Toronto, Montreal, Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. If you have the flexibility to choose your stopover airport, consider selecting one of these destinations for an even more delightful flight experience. So that's it for today's video. What's your experience with TAP Business Class? And what's your favorite business class in the sky? Please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Safe travels and see you next time.